What up, internet? How's everybody doing? If you notice, I'm wearing the same thing. This is going to be a follow-up video to the one that I just posted about cleaning up the earth. So another problem that um, kind of dovetails into the previous video is what the hell are we going to do with all this plastic that we have everywhere? Now, this is like a, a pretty big problem. I mean, I think everybody on earth realizes it's a big problem. But what's puzzling to me is that we, I guess, I don't want to be too pessimistic. There are a lot of people who are trying to solve it and creating products that are helping to curb the amount of plastic and reuse the plastic. But I think we need to put a little bit more brain power and, um, and like ideas and just general like, uh, what's the word, effort into trying to solve this problem. So like, if you have any ideas about what to do with plastic, because I've seen a lot of cool stuff. Sorry, I had a piece of mint in my tooth. I still do. A piece of an Altoid. Um, so, you know, I've seen stuff on Facebook where people are turning like uh, plastic into like these blocks to build houses, which is awesome, awesome idea. I also saw this uh, thing, these kids in um, in Africa, which was so cool. They were taking, um, you know, like soda bottles and they were stringing them together in like layers and they were using them as fishing boats. And they were saying like that they're actually like better than, than the traditional fishing boats because of the buoyancy and the way they, the way they kind of like move on the water. So like things like that, you know, I just bought, I, I just found like a little thing on Facebook where, um, you know, you can buy uh, these little like bracelets made out of recycled plastic that was got, from, you know, that was taken from the ocean for whatever. So I bought one of those, you know, that's a cool idea. But like things like that, I mean, I think as people, we need to really start trying to like get a handle on this before it gets too out of control. And then in addition to that, you know, and I'm not going to turn this into a marijuana rant because I, I, you know, I'm just not going to do it. But like we can't really ignore the whole, you know, hemp plastics, like the biodegradable plastics that can be made from hemp. You know, we are in kind of like a, a, a lockdown in this country in America because of the drug war and because of how just disgustingly ignorant our government is to a certain degree um, with not allowing certain things to happen. You know, like we, we, need, we really need to revisit this idea of hemp and all of the applications that it has because it's, um, there's a lot, you know. You know, not only when you look at like, you know, the amount of trees that we cut down and just attach to deforestation just to make paper and paper goods, when you can plant, you know, acres of hemp and get the same amount of paper and the hemp just grows right back. It grows really quick, really quick cycles. You know, you're cutting down these trees that are, that are you know, sometimes 100 years old, 50 years old, whatever, just to make sheets of paper and paper products so people can use once and throw away. You know, that's really bad. I mean, it's it's just really, really bad. We have to get away from this throwaway type of a society where we, we just, we're devastating this earth and the planet just to make like shit products that we use one time. A lot of times they're just for like decoration. You know what I mean? Like I, I could go on and mention like a whole bunch of examples, but I don't really want to do that or I don't have time. But you know, we, we're just very wasteful and disgusting with this stuff. And I think as people, again, we really need to band together and figure out ways to solve this problem because it is a solvable problem. And there's more than enough people in just the United States alone to where we could solve the problem. We just have to get it together and do it. You know, no one's going to pay us for it. There's no one that's going to pay you to do this kind of stuff, you know, or very few people. You know, again, I mentioned in the last video, like, there are people, like, I, I would hope to get some kind of sponsors eventually. You know, there's always, like, the crowdfunding and the GoFundMe type, type of a thing. But at the end of the day, a lot of it involves just doing it and, and, like, really just trying to just get stuff done. And I'm only one person, you know, and I'm not the smartest dude in the world, and I need help with it. You know, so I'm looking for people that I can be around and learn from and help them to try to tackle some of these problems. You know, I work a lot, but I do have free time and I don't like, my free time is spent learning. You know, like I, I don't watch TV. I, I don't really do anything but work. 
And then I'm pretty much on YouTube a lot watching either podcasts or, you know, just keynote speeches or, you know, just trying to like learn from different people who are smarter than me who from in all different kinds of uh, fields of study. Like that's what I do. You know, that's like my version of, I guess, books. Like books I used to read a lot when I was a kid. Um, or not a kid, but like younger, you know, like I read a lot through high school and a little bit after high school, but like now it's a lot of time. It's, 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 uh, you know, audio. I listen to a lot of audio, um, like audio books. And, um, that's kind of how I get the vast majority of my information. So I think I'm rambling a little bit, but I want to just, uh, again, this is like a follow up video to the cleanup video that I posted. And, um, you know, I just would like some feedback from people about how we can tackle this problem. What ideas do you have about what we're going to do with all this plastic? You know, there's got to be some ingenious ideas and some really clever ideas. I, I know there are. Like, we have to figure out how to do this because there's too much garbage everywhere. You know, we're killing marine life. We're killing all natural habitat. We've been doing it for so long. Like as I'm driving down this road right here, there's so much garbage along the woods, it's just making me sick. And like I know no one's gonna clean it up. Like if I don't just come here with a garbage bag, it's gonna be here every day, when, or not every day, but every Saturday when I do my Saturday thing, uh, I, it's gonna be here because nobody cleans it up. Just I feel like nobody cares, but like, Beneath the surface, I think we do care. I think there's a lot of people that care. I think it's just we're like there needs to be like that spark, that like, you know, that initial thing that makes everybody get started and then the momentum will get it going and keep it going. So again, help me out with this. Point me in the right direction. Get me around some people. There's so many people on YouTube who do so much good, you know, that we can, I think we can really get some, some positive things going on with minimal effort. If there's, the more people that get involved, the less work it is, you know? So that's all I got. This is the second part of the, of the, the you know, the cleanup video. Um, that's all I got. Saturday, still Saturday, just like the other video. Make sure you have a good day and uh, subscribe. I appreciate it. If you like the content, I appreciate it. Not I appreciated it. I would have appreciated it in the after fact, but like I really do appreciate it, the subscription. Um, you know, like, dislike, let me know what you think. Comment, comment with each other. Let's get some kind of dialogue going on to maybe help solve this problem. All right? That's all I got. You have a really good day today. Peace.